Now it's time to talk about bundles of care in order to prevent the central line associated infection. Or Clapsy. Game? This time when dealing with Clapsy what are the management we need to combine? Central line or central venous access device. Is a small soft tube called catheter is put in the vein that leads to our patient's heart. It has four different types. First. Peripherally inserted central catheter or PICC. This line is placed in a large vein in patient's upper arm or near the bend of the elbow. Second. Subclavian line. This line is placed into the vein that runs behind the collarbone. Third. Internal jugular line. This line is placed into a large vein in the in out patient's neck. And lastly, the femoral line. This line is placed in a large vein in patient's groin. Having that said, it is important to ensure that all access lines that our patient's needs are infection free. The management that we need to bundle are the following hand hygiene, placement of device. Maximal barrier and aseptic technique. Catheter daily review. And chlorhexidine skin antisepsis. Still first vital thing in any management. We have hand hygiene. This cannot be eliminated in any care bundles. Ensuring that hand are clean prevents contamination of our patient's central line. Next is the placement of device. In all aspects. Weighing the risk and benefits of placing a central venous device at a recommended site to reduce infection against the risk of mechanical complications needs to consider at all times. In addition, it is recommended to use a midline catheter or peripherally inserted central catheter or PICC instead of a short peripheral catheter, when the duration of four therapy will likely exceed six days. For the next component of this care bundle maximal barrier and aseptic technique, Maintain a septic technique for the insertion and care of intravascular catheters is highly recommended. As discussed earlier, hand hygiene should be performed before and after palpating catheter insertion sites, as well as before and after. Inserting, replacing, accessing, repairing, or dressing an intravascular catheter. Take note. Palpation of the insertion site should not be performed after the application of antiseptic. According to study, sterile gloves and small drape which is considered as maximal sterile barrier precautions. During the insertion of non-tunneled catheters reduce the risk of catheter infection. This practice is cost-effective and is consistent with the practice of universal precautions during an invasive procedure. The next part of Clapsy Care Bundle is the catheter daily review. Advantage to use transparent dressing to visually assess the line as frequent as possible. In assessing central line site, trained personnel WHO have demonstrated competency in the insertion and maintenance of central intravascular catheters is highly recommended. And once manifestation of infection takes place, it is necessary to promptly remove any central venous catheter that is no longer required. In addition, Replace transparent dressings used on CVC sites at least every 7 days. Except in those pediatric patients in which the risk of dislodging the catheter may outweigh the benefit of changing the dressing. And lastly, we have the Chlorhexidine Skin Antisepsis. The rationale for the use of chlorhexidine antiseptic bathing in place of soap and water bathing relates to the patient's resident skin flora that can enter the bloodstream at the CVC insertion site or the extraluminal surface of the catheter. Reducing skin contaminants with chlorhexidine bathing can further reduce the risk of clapsy. Similarly, a chlorhexidine impregnated dressing is now recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. When basic prevention measures are ineffective to decrease clapsis. Again to review. The management that needs to combine to threaten prevention of central line associated infection or clapsy are proper hand hygiene, placement of device, maximal barrier and aseptic technique, catheter daily review, and lastly, chlorhexidine skin antisepsis. Again, thank you for listening.